Imagine getting to do what you love to do seven days a week. Admire a John Price original, and you may notice a theme. It's a way for them to capture a moment uh, in art. A bouquet of colors bursts from the easel. But it is, it is, it is a lot of pressure. Live weddings and landscapes, his specialty. I just love the ambiance of Richmond. But at the other end of the spectrum? That's all it is, black and white, baby. John's latest piece is void of any vibrancy. And you can get a lot of contrast with black and white. Plus, I don't have to worry about them fading. The artist is going one-on-one -on -one with the president in his home studio in Chesterfield. You know, it's interesting that Bush is the last one that I'm drawing. He's a portrait artist now. A pencil drawing of President George W. Bush. The Georgia native isn't limiting himself to our 43rd president. Uh, and the first one actually was President George Washington. John took the oath in 2008 and started drawing portraits of each commander in chief, all 46 of them. And people can they can tell when something is off. Their nose is just off a little bit, their lips. It's like, I don't want a resemblance. I want you to know who that is. John calls his ambitious project from George to Joe. Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson. A task that is stretching across three administrations. Because nobody asked me to do this. It's not like a commission that I'm getting paid for. So either it's going to, you know, be epic or an epic failure, one of the two. His favorite to draw, number 26. Theodore Roosevelt. The perfectionist's least favorite? The ones with the beards. I hated doing them. I, I, I didn't hate it. I hated it. The self-taught artist uploads his free hand drawings to social media when finished. Use my phone and time lapse it and put it on Instagram because, you know, if you're not on Instagram, you don't exist. He welcomes feedback, even if some viewers think the artwork should be impeached. <laughs> Rarely, rarely. I, I rarely take it personal anymore. Uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt my feelings from time to time. John's appreciation of American history runs deep. The U.S. Army veteran paints other famous figures from our past. I actually took soil from the land that Harriet Tubman was raised on and ground it up into the paint so that it would become a part of the, of the painting. John's talents go well beyond just drawing his stately subjects. And that's the other thing. I wrote a biography of every single president. That took about a year and a half to do. The collection of stories is strictly satirical. Uh, Polk, Taylor, uh, Fillmore. John's book, hardly a serious study of the American presidency. You know, if you want me to be honest about politics, I don't, I'm really very center. It has taken 15 years. Uber, Roosevelt. But John is finally wrapping up his works worthy of the White House. But when you get to portraits, it has to be dead on. Leaders of the Republican and Democrat parties may not see eye to eye in their views from the Oval Office. I can't put into words the contentment I feel. But in John's studio, red and blue, all find common canvas in black and white. I want people to enjoy uh, the art and hopefully they'll learn something in the process. For I Have a Story. There's definitely a sense of accomplishment. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.